The game room includes a collection of art and objects that commemorate 20th century Hawaiian culture. On one wall, you'll see a strapless silk dress by designer Cherry Holt. Starting in the 1960s, Holt brought a contemporary edge to Hawaiian style with her fashionable designs. She also happens to be the sister of Julie Klein, the curator of our art collection. She was greatly influenced by Japanese women who were coming over here and their great delicacy in the way that they dressed and the patterns and the printmaking that they brought from Japan. So that was a huge influence on her, but she wanted to give it a contemporary spin. And you'd be surprised how many young girls in their 18s to 20 year old that come up and see that dress and they want to buy it because it's very hip now. Her work from that period is in major collections everywhere. I had to force a collector to sell it to me with the intention that not only was Sherry my sister, but that it was going into a great art collection where it would really, really would be appreciated. In the wall niches at one end of the room, you see two photographs by Liwa Granis commemorating Hawaiian surfing culture. Nearby, there is a wonderfully decorated Lewis Martin shortboard. Surfing is an important part of island culture. Inside the video game room that opens off the main game room, you'll find a magnificent photo of the legendary waterman and surfer Eddie Aiko. Aiko was born on Maui, and he became famous for his skill at surfing the giant waves on Oahu's north shore. He was also a dedicated ambassador of Hawaiian culture, in 1978, Eddie was in the midst of his second voyage between Tahiti and Hawaii on a traditional Polynesian sailing vessel. The boat ran into trouble in stormy waters near Moloka'i. While attempting to make it to shore to save the crew, Eddie was lost at sea. His memory is dear to many for whom Eddie exemplifies the spirit of aloha and pride in Hawaii's heritage.